this whole area here is an apple tree. Uh, you might be able to see in one apple here. I, I wish I had filmed this segment when it was blooming. Um, anyway, it it's a it's an incredible apple tree. Uh, first of all, it's flat on the wall, which is called a spellier. And uh, also, each branch is a different type of apple. I think there are six different kinds here. We've got Gala, we've got Fuji, here's uh, Yellow Transparent, Macintosh, and Yellow Delicious, and down here, uh, Gravenstein. I don't even know what a Gravenstein is. <clears throat> anyway, they produce apples. In fact, that is a Gravenstein growing right here and right here. Uh, can you see that? Can you see this? Um, so, uh, normally, a spellier, uh apple trees are growing uh, sort of like Jesus on the cross. They're like... Uh, and I, it always bothers me to see those because they, they look tortured in some way. I'm not religious. Um, <clears throat> so, what I did with this is something a little softer. Uh, it's a heart shape. Isn't that romantic? Be still my beating heart. Um, if you saw it dead on, you would see that the branches do this. Uh, in the winter time, it's much more apparent. <clears throat> now, uh, caring for apple trees is a whole subject. So here we go. Uh, first of all, uh, feed them twice. Um, my favorite food for apple trees is Job's fruit steaks. Not a product endorsement, just a great product. Uh, it's a hammer in steak. It's like, like a carrot. It's big, and you hammer it in uh, to the ground, maybe four around the bottom, um, in early spring when it's just starting to leaf out. And uh, then again, when the fruit are pretty large, um, give it again another four steaks um, to make those fruit nice and big. So that's my. Uh, feeding regimen for apple trees. Uh, also, uh, when, they, when they're in this stage um, and there are clusters of small apples, uh, you're supposed to go in, you're supposed to, I suggest you go in and you pull off the weakest of the apples. So here we have four, and I'm gonna grab this one. Uh, you can see it there. Um, and uh, here we have five, and I'm grabbing two really crappy looking ones that are already falling off. Good morning. It's late July. You can see here the Crocosmia lucifer are just blooming. Um, these are also known as ditch weed, and they are a weed. They do spread, but very, very pretty. And named after the devil. Crocosmia lucifer. It's blooming, and that is the only time of the year that you can treat for scale. Well, that's not entirely true. There's a second time, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. Anyway, the way you treat for scale at this time of year is using insect spray, insecticidal soap, which is available in many, many different brands. Um, <coughs> insecticidal soap is not that toxic to humans, so uh, you don't have to be too careful with it still. Don't inhale it, okay? Don't inhale any of the sprays. Now, uh, the reason we're doing this now is because the Crocosmia lucifer is in bloom. And when the Crocosmia lucifer goes into bloom, it's the same time that the scale on apples and other trees hatches and the little babies start wandering over the surface of the stems, of the branches, and then they create new houses for themselves. And once they're inside their little house, which I can see along this branch, I don't know if you can, they're tiny little, <laughs> looks like uh, dark sesame, sesame seeds all along here. Uh, those are impenetrable and impossible to get rid of, and I've been battling uh, them. For but at this years. time of year, the babies hatch, and so for a couple weeks, while the Crocosmia lucifer is blooming, uh, we will spray. get rid of any new growth because that will attract aphids. Yes, apple trees are susceptible to aphids. At this point, 
you want to spray all the branches heavily with insecticidal soap. It won't affect the fruit. You can use insecticidal soap up to 48 hours before picking. Now I wouldn't do that, but a week is fine. Even two weeks might be better. Uh, <coughs> so first you cut off any new growth so that that energy is not wasted and more sunlight gets into the fruit to help them ripen. Oh! Um, so then you completely soak the plant which takes some doing. You have to be patient and you have to soak it completely every surface to practically dripping especially the branches because they seem to be most prone to scale I would hold my breath during this phase maybe do it in a couple batches go off and breathe clean air for a while and come back better yet use a respirator that would be the response. Insecticidal thing soap is super cheap if you buy it in the concentrated form. And uh, maybe what we'll do is just mix up a bottle of insecticidal soap so you can see how that's done. Okay, we're going to mix up some insecticidal soap. Um, the spray bottle I was just using was having trouble opening, so I grabbed this one and I put a little bit of water in there. And this is Bug Be Gone, but you can use any concentrate, doesn't matter. Give it a good shake. Then pour in about a tablespoon. A healthy tablespoon, so we're talking that much. Um, then fill the rest right up to the top. Give it a shake, and you're ready to go. Alright, till next time.